Hey everyone! Today I've got something new to try. It's called a Munch Pack. This is a subscription box that sends snacks to your house. Snacks from all over the world, I think. So you never know what quite what country your snacks will be from, but it's supposed to be a variety. So let's get this open. Let's see. Um, first we have a piece of paper with it says Munch Pack all over it. That's nice. Okay, then we have a card. Enter to win. I will do that later. Thank you. Okay, so our first snack is Skips. Okay, I'm gonna try to figure out what country everything is from. This one, oh, I don't know. Okay, so what is Skips? Skips are the fizzy, light, and melty tongue tingly snack. Okay, so you can uh, read all the other stuff there. Hmm, I wonder what it does. Does it fizz like Pop Rocks? Here's the uh, calories and stuff. And the ingredients. Quality guarantee. So where is this from? Where does it say? I'm not sure. Well, let's cut it open. Let's take a look at the skips. That's what it's called, skips. Alright, so... Here we have a, a plate. Let's just pour some out. Okay, they're all... They're kind of puffy. Like, um... Crispy... Puffed snacks. And they're very crunchy. I'm gonna try one. Mmm, interesting flavor. It's like, uh... Okay, the flavor, tingly prawn cocktail. That's quite interesting. Um, I can taste a little bit of like, almost like cocktail sauce maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, these are, these are pretty good. I like these a lot. I'm probably gonna eat the whole bag right after this video. All right, so next we have, uh, let's see, what is this? Oh, what is, what is this? Okay, so Cheetos Flamin' Hot. Oh, I think this fl that flavor came out a few years ago, or quite a while actually. Actually, um, I don't know if I've ever had them. Um, this is like some type of Avengers strip they've added to the Cheetos. All right, so um, let me try one, I guess. Let's see. Wow. That is very orange red. Very tasty. Pretty hot. Okay, those these are very good, but um you're gonna need this is for people that like really hot stuff. They taste really good though. The flavor is good. Alright, so next uh, cotton candy. Sweet and sour cotton candy, what? Um, let's see. Ingredients. Made in Mexico. Let's cut it open. It's grape. Purple, oh wait, purple grape and pink strawberry and blueberry. And yellow pineapple, what? How many flavors are in this? It can't be four flavors. Unless they're all mixed together. I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna try this. Oh, it's very... It's very much like cotton candy that you would get at a fair. It has a very grape flavor. It tastes a lot like grape. Um, I don't think it tastes like pineapple at all. I don't know if maybe just this part up here is like grape, and then maybe it's other flavors down here, but I don't know, it all, it all looks like grape to me. It's really good. Like, if you don't like regular cotton candy, but you like grape, you might like this. It's really tasty. Alright, so next... 
We have, oh, what is this? Let me put the knife down. Um, let's see. Pulparindo push. Is this tamarind? With real fruit. It, that's a tamarind. I like tamarind. Um, let's see. Hot and salted tamarind pulp candy. What do they mean by hot? Is it spicy? Um, let's see. Where is the ingredients? Okay, this is... Is this gonna focus? This is made from... This is from Mexico, I think. And... Let's see. The ingredients are a little bit hard to read. But maybe you can see it. Okay, I'm not sure... Let's see. There's some plastic right here. Okay, that comes off like that. And I think this is a lid, maybe? Ooh, wow. If you've never had tamarind, it's... It's kind of really sweet and uh, really sour also. It's almost like um, nature's sweet and sour candy. It doesn't taste like sweet and sour sauce, but it's, it's different. Let's see. So um, let's try to push this up. I think it should come out. Yeah, it's see, it's getting bigger. You can squeeze it out. And... Wow. Alright, I'm going to taste it. Okay. Um, it's got a lot of sugar in it, but it's also quite tart. Like, it's almost making me, um, it's making me kind of squint, you know, like, when you bite into a lemon, and you're like, ow! It's quite strong. Very tasty, though. It's very sweet. Okay, I know this isn't really going to fit, but I'm going to put it like that. Alright, so next. Hmm. Kinder. A Kinder food. Let's see. Delis. Delice. Delicious. Here's the ingredients. This is the people that make Kinder eggs. Um, let me show you the rest of the wrapper before I tear it up. Let's see what's in here. Okay, so here is that part right there. And this part right here. Okay, here's that right there. Very hard to show you, but all right. I'm just hopefully you read everything you needed to read. All right, so that's interesting. Okay. Wow. This is a large chocolate-covered thing. Let me take a bite. Oh wow, this is like, sorry I'm talking with my mouth full, but this is like the really nice moist cake. I don't know if you can see how soft this is. I'm going to make a mess here, but this is so good. It's so chocolatey and sweet and soft and good. It's excellent. Let me go wash my hands. We'll be right back. Wow, I wonder if that's how good Kinder eggs are. That was excellent. I didn't eat the whole thing. It's still it's still here, but I'm gonna eat that right at, right later after this video too. Grisky, kikiriki, stabisi, stabiki, peanuts. Um, let's see. Filled salty pastry. Here are the numbers and the ingredients from Serbia. This one's kind of hard to read. Let's see, it's focused. It's 
a little bit hard to read on the red thing there, on the red background. Alright, let's cut it open and see what we got. Ooh, they're like pretzels. It doesn't look like pretzels here, but this totally looks like a pretzel. There's stuff inside. This is a, definitely a pretzel. It's a pretzel with peanut butter in it. If you like peanut butter and pretzels, this is perfect. Excellent. I would eat all of those. There's a lot. Okay, next we have... Sorry if I'm talking about my mouthful. I've never really done a video where I eat this stuff, but I'm hungry. Knoppers? Hmm. Here is some information on the back. It's from Berlin, I guess, maybe. Made in Germany. Okay, it looks like wafer stuff and uh, hazelnuts. Let's take a look at it. Okay, it's uh, there's is there one or two? It kind of looks like you could break it in half. No, it's one big piece. Sorry about the airplane, the very loud airplane. Okay, so I kind of broke it. It's got soft, creamy icing in it. Let me try it. All right, let me try another piece. I got, I have, I had an interesting flavor, and I have to think about it a little bit more. All right, this is very nice and tasty. It's it's kind of mild. Like if you don't like stuff that's super super sweet or super super chocolatey or it's just, you know, kind of hazelnutty and um, you know, it's sweet enough and it's nice and crispy and crunchy and light. This is very it's like a high quality type of snack. It's very nice. Okay, next we have Wow, what is this? Stroop waffle. Bon Appetit uh, Facebook Let's see, BelgianBoys.com Hmm Here's the ingredients And the Nutrition Servings per container too So there's two things in here by Belgian boys, all natural. Dutch caramel waffle. Why is there so many airplanes flying around? Can you hear all the airplanes? Okay, cut that open. Yep, there's two. Let's try to get one. Okay, that's interesting. It feels and looks like it's covered with something. What is this again? Is Dutch caramel waffle. Wow, it's got stuff inside. Just, just this one. There, um, here. See, so I've got this. There's another one in there, right? But when you take just one and you break it open, there's caramel in on the inside. Let me try it. All right, this is kind of like a cookie. It's, it's got a, a crumbliness to it, like it's not super hard. You, as you can see, it's, um, it's a little bit soft. Plus it's got some type of soft thing on the inside. I guess that's the caramel. It um, Where's the ingredients here? It's got a little bit of cinnamon in it, which you can kind of taste. 
it's pretty it's pretty good the the cinnamon it, it's not too cinnamony but it adds a nice touch to it it's really nice and it's not really sweet it's it's another um mild kind of tasty treat very very good though all right so let's see what is this fizzy star z grape I'm glad that they keep giving me grape stuff because I really like grape. Let's see. Magical fizzing candy made in USA. Two pack. Let's open it up. Okay, there's two. We just need one. Hmm. Okay, it, you can't really tear it. Oops, I'm gonna cut it, but okay, here's here's the ingredients and the calories and all that stuff. Amer Amerilab Technologies? How much technology is in this candy? Let's see what it looks like. I think there's a little bit of cinnamon on my hand. But, oh, it's little stars. That's so cute. Let's see. Okay, so does this... I'm guessing it fizzes like Pop Rocks, but it's solid big pieces. Oh, wow. The flavor is really, really strong. And it has really kind of a... Almost a tart bitterness to it, but it's also really, really sweet. Like... I've never really had candy quite like this before. It's not, it's not really sour. It's almost like a little bit sour, but a little bit bitter also. But it's very, you can really taste the grape. It has a really nice grape flavor to it. And it's very fizzy. It's, it's almost like if you took powdered Pop Rocks, like if you took Pop Rocks and just ground them up into a ultra fine powder and had that in your mouth or something. But it's like... These are um, not too hard. They're they're really easy to break down in your mouth, and uh, it just covers. It just dissolves very fast, and it's very fizzy. These are very, very cool. All right, I'm gonna put that there. Okay, next we have. Okay, Doki Goma. Frutas. Sorry, I have fizzy stars in my mouth. Um. Okay, I don't know if you're gonna be able to read this, but we could try. On the other side. Man, these fizzy stars are like crazy. Alright, so let's cut this open. Oh, what country is this from? This, the fizzy stars are making me not pay attention. I'm not, I'm not sure where the country is. Alright, I don't know where these are from. I'm not reading the right spot, I guess. Okay, let's try one. How about an orange one? Let's see. This is like uh, a gumdrop. Feels pretty standard squishiness for gumdrop. Let me taste it. Okay, that tastes exactly like you would expect an orange colored gumdrop to taste like. Let me try one more just to make sure. Okay. I don't know what flavor blue is. The blue one, I couldn't really tell what it is. It might be supposed to be blue raspberry, but it's not really like strong or sour or anything. But these are good. These are just like gumdrop candy if you like gumdrops. All right, let's check out what the last thing is. There's nothing else in the box. 
Alright. Sour smog balls. Toxic waste brand. Is that, is that the actual name of the country? I mean, the uh, company? Toxic waste company brand. Um, crunchy candy with a sour, chewy center. I wonder where these are from. I would think they're from America. In Indiana, maybe? Toxicwastecandy.com. Assorted flavors. Let's see. Blue, raspberry, strawberry, lemon, lime, grape, and cherry. The f okay, I'm going to read this. The Fiendish Plot of Dr. Smog. Let's try to focus a little bit. Dr. Igor Smog is a wealthy industrialist who made his fortune in heavy manufacturing. But his methods are wasteful and produce lots of toxic byproducts, which he disposes of in environmentally irresponsible ways. His latest scheme is to pump massive amounts of toxic smog into the atmosphere from the smokestacks of his factory. Once airborne, the pollution will condense into particles of solid waste and rain down upon the unsuspecting countryside. Fortunately, Professor Sour Noggin is on the case. Sour Noggin has dedicated his life to finding ways to transform toxic waste into good and useful products. One blast from his rooftop smogomatic ray gun and the cloud will rain down delicious sour candy balls and outcome Dr. Smog is less than pleased about. Okay. Let's take a look in here. I want to get a flavor that I like. I don't, I'm not sure if I'm going to like this. I don't know if it's going to be su super sour, but I will try it. Okay. Let me get... What are the flavors? Okay, strawberry and cherry. I don't want a cherry, so... I don't know... I'm thinking pink is a strawberry, maybe. Okay, let me try... This. Okay, it's, it's hard. Alright, this is really interesting. It's not super sour, so if you hate really, really sour candy, this is going to be good for you because it's just a little bit sour. But um, the taste is kind of different. Like, I don't, I can't really think of any other candy that tastes like this. I mean, it's nothing crazy weird, but the texture is almost like, I want to say, like really old bubble gum, but not chewy at all. Like, it's candy. It's totally candy, and you can't, like, blow a bubble or anything with it. But, you know, it's got that texture of, like... Um, let me try to cut one open for you. Alright, um, that was very hard to cut open, because the candy is, is so hard, but as you can see, there's something in the middle. Not sure what it is, but it's a little bit softer than the outside, and it's, uh, I'm not, let me try to taste it just by itself. I'm gonna get this piece here and I'm gonna taste it. Okay, I think this is the sour stuff right here. Um, it's not very good by itself. I mean, it's, it's just sour. Let me try this part here without the middle. This is the fruity part. And it's not sour. This is part is really, really good. But then you add this to it and it becomes sour. So these are really good. And the, the flavor is good. Um, I think this is what... This is watermelon? Was there a watermelon flavor in here? I don't know what flavor this is. I'm guessing it's lime. Uh, it's really sweet lime if it's lime. But it's getting a color all over me. Okay, my finger, let me find a clean finger. Okay, this finger is clean, right? And this is green. And it makes your finger blue. All right, so I was just recording for about half an hour while I was making this and my camera turned off because it only records for 29 minutes and 50 seconds or something like that. But anyways, I give this box, I'd say at least a nine out of 10, maybe, maybe a 10 out of 10. Um, yeah, I, I like everything in here is 
excellent. Um, like I don't I don't know which one I'm gonna eat first, but I'm I'm totally gonna eat all of these things. And anyways, if you so if you want to get this, remember you have to go to this place, but there's no C, so type it just like that. P A K dot com and sign up for it. I think they have different size boxes. And I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.